Rob has told us about this phenomenal sausage that you guys have on the menu. You need to talk me through the ingredients because sure. maybe we would like to make our own. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's all in-house made and uh, we try to use as least waste as possible. As you'll notice here with our brisket fat right here. So all the trimmings that we cut off the briskets, we reuse into our sausage. Right, so let's talk about quality. What do we have here on the menu? Alrighty, so uh, we start off with um, our two main meats in here. So we go out and get the good stuff, 60% pork tenderloin. After that, we uh, use 40% of the brisket fat, smoked brisket fat. So we smoke it for anywhere from four to six hours, depending on uh, how full the smoker is. And that's effectively almost like your bacon that's going with your bacon, hey? Eh? Of course, and then, you know, you always add on a little extra bacon as well. <laughs> you so. can never have enough bacon. <laughs> that's why I was asking, is bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon, that's bacon, one. bacon. That's you right. Betcha, so. And on the spices side, run me through this. For sure, so uh, you got our steak spice right here, some seasoning salt, onion powder, smoked paprika, and uh, smoked cayenne as well. We use brown sugar as the base to give it a nice, good, sweet, juicy tenderness. When we're done mixing, we add in our uh, milk powder as well as a binder. There's one ingredient that I think we, we've actually missed because that's the reason why I love your sausage. Of course. You, you, when you bite into it, you get that little bit of cheesy. Ah, there you go. So for five kilograms of sausage, we use one full kilogram of cheese as well. 20% of your sausage is the cheese shred. So first of all, Mix it in. You gotta have a bowl big enough for everything to uh, be able to mix through. Brown sugar now. Brown sugar next. It gives it a little bit of sweetness that you're looking for. Bacon. Bacon, because you never have enough bacon. And then your oil as well. So that just uh, adds a little bit of um, liquids in there so everything can mix together properly. And you just add it slowly at a time. You don't need the whole thing right away. As you're mixing, you just keep it going. Right. We save the milk powder for later. That's uh, after everything's mixed, right before we're about to case. And we mix all of our ingredients uh, before we grind it. Otherwise you end up with a sausage that has half cheese <laughs> and no bacon and another one with too Each much bite pork. would be too different, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Smells already... Amazing, hey? Amazing, yes. You got a bit of a coarse grind. This is not like bratwurst or something, which is really, really dense. Exactly, yeah. If you had a little bit of chunks in there, right? You got your bacon throughout there. It's nice to get a bite on a good piece of bacon as you're eating the sausage. You said binding agent. Why do we need a binding agent? If we were to cook it like that, it would fall apart. After we're done cooking with the milk powder, it makes it back into a solid, which is awesome. So it uh, allows for just a firmer sausage. Do half at a time. Mix it all up, and then we add, add the other half. And then, of course, more cheese. So, <laughs> more you cheese. Never have too much can cheese, never right? have too much. So, You're right. This allows it so when you smoke it, the cheese is uh, still, when you bite into it, all juicy and uh, get all the good flavors. What casings do you use? We go back to the roots and use uh, original hog casing, which is the nice part. So, you can get synthetic casings out there, but just the hog casing is uh, the traditional style of doing it and uh, we haven't had a problem with it yet so we just why fix what's not broken right I think it looks good it looks good to me right all righty on to the next move on to the next stage it's like loading a cannon isn't it yeah. like loading a cannon <laughs> you make a beautiful sausage <laughs> how much sausage do you guys make in a week um, miles <laughs> miles, that's how miles. you measure the sausage. Not kilos, it's miles. miles. It's how long the sausages go. I love it. That's a lot of sausage coming up. <laughs> this will last us one hour. Look at that. <laughs> My <laughs> sausage. Wow. How long do you smoke them? Sausage we smoke anywhere from six to eight hours. So the second you see your casing start to get wrinkled, it means you've overcooked it. So we pull it out about uh, 190 so that when we pull it, it has time to rest and uh, finish its cooking in there. This is uh, the sausage after full six hours of cooking here. So you can see uh, we actually don't cook it as a coil to allow that the whole sides of the sausage are being cooked evenly. So you don't see any undercooked spots throughout the sausage, which is the nice part. And uh, best part is, even with the open casing on it, no ingredients falling out. And uh, you can just see the cheese oozing out there already, which is... That's the best never part. Have enough, you can never have enough cheese, right? Never enough bacon, <laughs> never enough cheese. Thank you very much. This is Cheers. Big Sky Barbecue's cheese 
Like tri triple pork cheese. What do you call this thing? We call this our maple bacon cheddar sausage. Maple bacon cheddar sausage. I don't see any maple going. Brown sugar bacon sausage. <laughs> He's making it up as he goes. You know, I don't care what you call uh, it. This is a phenomenal sausage and I love the cheese oozing out of this. Uh, you guys do a fine job, man. Thank you very much.